The A7 has a menu called e-ink screen settings. It has various different things and you might be a little confused as to what they all do. We're just going to go through every single one of them. Right here, application display mode. If you click on this, you can actually choose what app you want to be in what mode. For example, with something like camera, you're going to need speed or smooth mode because you just can't simply use the camera on clear mode. It won't work. But something like calendar, you're going to want to have on clear mode because it's going to look the best. You can actually change them to all clear, all balanced, all smooth and all speed respectively as well. Slide one screen. There's this huge paragraph here, but what this actually does is just gets rid of inertia. So when you have it off like this, it'll look something like this. You'll have the scrolling effect, you'll have inertia based on how strong you swipe the screen, etc. Compared to when you have it on, it just goes page by page. It does flash a lot more, but it only goes in stages rather than a smooth feel. This is getting rid of all inertia, and it may work on certain apps, but not all. Input method dynamic refresh mode. This is kind of confusing, but what it pretty much means is every time you call up the keyboard, it's going to switch to balanced mode to allow you to type better. And then after you hide the keyboard, it's going to go back to clear mode. The next one is extremely subtle to the point where you don't really see a difference in everything. It's going to just be case by case. And looking at it side by side, we didn't really see that much of a difference either. High contrast text. The text in the e-ink screen will enhance the contrast. You can see by the left and right, these are the differences. This one is as well subtle and a little bit technical. Font anti-aliasing. So this one, after opening, it can reduce the jagged phenomenon in horizontal and vertical strokes of some fonts. You don't really see it, and as you can see by the side-by-side -side going through an ebook, it's not that noticeable. So unless you're technically minded or you are facing aliasing, you can toggle this on or off. The next one is very self-explanatory, automatic backlight for incoming call. We don't have a SIM card in here, but needless to say, the light will turn on when you get a call. And this is extremely useful because if you get a call at night and you don't have the light on, you won't know who's calling you. The last one being bleaching app. And now a side by side and you guys can be the judge. Fancy terminology aside, they're very simple things that have to do with refreshing. And with e-ink screens, it's all about refreshing. So having an e-ink settings menu that allows you to toggle things on and off is absolutely necessary, especially if you're going to be using this phone as your primary. We can't wait to see what color brings to the table next month, but for now, these are all the e-ink settings on the Hisense A7.